Hey everyone, welcome back to the show. Professional caricaturist Victor Pross has been drolling everybody all day. <laughs> he has, and uh, he's joining us now to talk about uh, his art, his life. He's got an upcoming documentary and, uh, of course, an amazing book as well. Victor, how are you? Not too bad, thanks. Good, for nice to yeah. see you. Uh, I, I think, what's the first question people usually ask you uh, when they find out you're a caricaturist? Do they, do they talk about the process or do they ask about... I mean, what is it that fascinates people with this particular art form? Well, one of the things that they first ask me is, is can, can, can you draw me? <laughs> really? Yeah. Can you draw me? But everyone's a little bit yeah. nervous, I noticed, as well. I mean, when they find out you're a caricaturist, I think that, that puts people in a kind of sensitive territory sometimes. Well, yeah, and uh, as you say, as a professional caricaturist, especially when doing live caricaturing, it's, it's important to put people at ease. Yeah. Because when they sit down across from me, and I'm getting the... Getting the markers ready, and they're right. like, and they're like this, you know. It's, it's so, Self-conscious. So all you have to do is start talking to them and ask them about their interests, and uh, and you're putting them at ease, and you're finding out something more about your subject beyond the mere right. physical now, appearance. How do you define caricaturist? Of course, people use that word all the time, but what does it mean to you as far as the art form goes? Uh, you mean like a definition, or yeah. as to well, uh, caricature actually comes from. Uh, uh, I'm not sure exactly how it's pronounced, but it's an Italian word meaning loaded picture. And everybody realizes, of course, that caricature goes back to uh, goes back to Da Vinci. Yeah. yeah. Da Vinci explored uh, stretching features out like silly putty of all pe uh, of all people, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, it's later on in history, it became a political tool to cut down the uh, the ruling class, the the nobles, the, uh, the, 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 pow the powerful and the wealthy, and to make them a mockery, to cut them down to size. And, uh, but later on, of course, it also is a tool for good, right? Right. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, th that is a tool for good there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but I mean, Occupy like... Occupy Wall Street! <laughs> yeah, exactly. But it's, it's, a, it's also just pure entertainment as well. Right. Yeah. So it's not... Everybody tends to have, like, two tracks of what caricature be. It could just be, like, it's not an art form. It's just a fairgrounds kind of thing. Or it's or the Or it's a satire and yeah. political tool. Well, and, let's start so. with this fella right here. I yeah. mean, I guess the exaggeration is obvious, and that's what scares people when they they sit down, but tell us about Jack Nicholson and why you enjoy uh, drawing him. Well, um, he's definitely an icon, and uh, I have a I have a, a tremendous fascination with, with very iconic uh, people. So he's up there in somebody that I've always appreciated. I'm a movie fanatic. Yeah. I love Jack Nicholson and. Uh, the classic Jack Nicholson arched eyebrow and the grin is just the so much fun. The Cheshire Cat grin. We're yeah. looking at a couple of other images and right now. I like too. that there's almost two sides to this. You know what I mean? Like as soon as you see it, you see there's there's sort of a, a, an opposite almost uh, to what you see in the final work as well. Or All maybe right. I'm just seeing that. Well, let's look yeah. at some other images. We've got uh, Tupac. Why did you choose to draw him? Well, again, he's, uh, he's very iconic. Sometimes uh, a person's fame or just mere presence of being a very prominent figure in their respective field of rap, just calls and says, hey, you have to do that person if you're going to be an iconic painter. Right. Yeah. And uh, I'm not like a big fan of his music, but sometimes I could be a tremendous fan. I've done the Beatles. I'm a big Beatles Iggy fan. Iggy Pop? I've done that. We've and got Iggy a picture Pop. of him. Yeah, well, yeah. and just that force within a culture as well is fascinating. That, exactly. Right? That's, that's enough for me to do it. And Iggy Pop, I am a big Iggy Pop fan, so he's, uh, he's somebody who appears in my book, Icons and Idols. Pop goes the culture, and I'm a uh, I'm an older guy, so of yeah, course I love John, yeah. John Lennon and uh, and Yoko Ono. I love this, this. That's a great one, yeah. Yeah, and do you know what? Actually, to tell you the truth, that's a uh, that's a, a cropped picture because I actually did the whole portrait of their famous uh, two version uh, album. Yeah, uh, which of course I. Guess can't, can't show, show that on TV, right? So. Right. <laughs> How much do you enjoy this process? I mean, I, I, because like you said, there's there's sort of two elements to it. There's the art, but you also really sort of have to know something almost uh, about your subject or learn something about them while they're sitting across you. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, it, for the most part, unle unless I'm commissioned to do a job where I have to quickly, you know, uh, draw and, and uh, sketch somebody, like I've done uh, Ron Howard's portrait for his... Uh, uh, a 50th uh, birthday portrait that when he was in Toronto. No pressure. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I had like 24 hour notice. Like it's his, he was on the set in Toronto doing uh, filming uh, uh, Cinderella Man. This was like 2004, mm -hmm. I think. It was kind of, I got a call. 
Uh, yeah, can you do a picture of Ron Howard? Want to give him a, a portrait for his birthday? Can you, uh, when? Tomorrow, like at 8 o'clock, can you be down here? <laughs> Why not? It's already at 9 o'clock at night. It's like, oh. It's late for now. Later. Now we've got go. some hockey pictures here. Tell us, uh, tell us about these ones. Uh, we're going to start with the one on uh, that's farthest away from you. Yeah, yeah. Really cool. Yeah. Oh, we got some gloss there. <laughs> so, we do. Yeah. yeah, for this, uh, for the one that we're seeing right now, that was, uh, that's just a fictional hockey portrait, just playing, having fun with uh, hockey players, and it was... And uh, then we've got our Luongo. There is a spirit to the game, though, that yeah. you capture really well in there, right? I mean, Definitely. people kind of forget themselves when, I don't know if you play hockey, but I know I do, and... You kind of forget yourself when you're just... Oh, you know, I've seen lots of photos of, like, holding the Stanley Cup and the uh, frenetic uh, yeah. energy that goes around, and I just thought it'd be fun. Lou to looks that. a little sad in this one. Lou uh, always looks a little Victor. sad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Lou looks like he may have after the game last Why night. Why the but... long face, Lou? Uh, Gotta love this. But you recently moved to Vancouver. Are you a Canucks fan now? I'm a Canucks fan now. Well said. Because well, yeah. if you said Leafs, <laughs> this interview question. would be done. Now, you have drawn us, I hear... Yes. Are we allowed to see these now? Sure, yeah. Okay, I'll let you Ladies choose first, who man. to start with. <laughs> oh, you're, you're so beautiful even in caricature. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Oh, that is, thank you so much for being so nice to me. <laughs> what is she holding in her hand? A She's knife and I'm going to kill you. Yeah, what? that's right. I got two layer meaning on this one. It could be Fiona Apple or just uh, in the Garden of Eden. I like it. <laughs> now, let's beautiful. see Michael. Thank you. That's gorgeous. Uh-oh. I'm the star of this show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a little edge to that one, isn't there? That's funny. Love it. Well, thank you so much. We didn't even mention your book. It's called Icons and Idols, Pop Goes the Culture. Thank you so much for joining yeah. us, David. Also, you can also go uh, the title of a documentary that's coming up pretty soon as well. So. Same title, yeah. Documentary film, a book. Yeah. Nice. Package it. deal. Thank Thanks, you so Victor. much. Uh, we're going to take a break and come